Denim is something that, you know, in America since the, the gold rush, like the wild, wild west, has been influential all around the world. And Levi's, you know, being really the biggest brand in the world and it being so American, it's been, you know, just brought back from the time that we knew it where we just had basic jeans, then all the fashion brands that got involved. So you're going to see the jean suits, you're going to see the tailored denim now. And again, I think with the expensive, you know, luxury lifestyle that exists today and us having paper, we're willing to go out and spend on luxury denim. We start off with a basic raw jean, man, and we use some of the best, actually, Japanese engineered salvage fabric. 4A was actually created as a charity by Eric Hart called Asia Acts Against AIDS, and that's just the logo. 886 represents Taiwan, Hong Kong, Japan. The ribbon has been placed inside the pocket, but drapes outside underneath. You see the reference to the Babe General, actually, but it's that actual FM Union logo, which is an online radio station in Hong Kong. One thing special about the RMC jean in particular is you'll notice that the inside has a darker tint, and this comes from us using an engineered colored cotton. One of the things that Tony Magnetic is all about is, is going around the world and sourcing different new ideas. Brand new to the market, it's the very first prototype ever of a denim ball, and actually there's a whole range of products coming out. It includes a football, basketball, Ball, American football, soccer, European rugby, the whole bit. And basically it's called Emperors of Honor. There's footwear, there's bags. You know, Red Monkey is a total denim lifestyle concept brand. In terms of like store placement, Ace Lorenzo and Sunset in Sunset and LA, Fred Siegel's out in LA, Detour downtown here, you know, Nam de Gar, Union in LA. When you sit down and really compare our product to anyone else's, I'm sure that you'll find you getting some of the best things on earth. Blow Magazine. 2005, right here, live and direct, New York City. That's where everything happens at. Come on.